Good afternoon guys! I really want to say hello and welcome to another Vlogmas, but it's not. It's hello and welcome to another weekly vlog. It is the afternoon and it's going dark already. It's three o'clock in the afternoon. I am just starting the vlog off today. I have been on nights again. Yeah, like I said on last, the end of last week's vlog, just finished my nights, done four night shifts. It's now Saturday afternoon. I got up about lunchtime. You didn't want to see me when I first got up. So I've had a shower got dressed um, and we're just going to be doing some jobs. Exciting! Heading off to Aldi to go shopping for some food. Not quite sure what we're doing for the rest of the evening. Harry's got the Mario Kart that you saw last week. Um, I think we're going to do set up a racetrack around the house and have a go with the Mario Kart so that should be fun. Um, David's going to make some fried chicken for tea so we'll show you that as well. We're going on a walk tomorrow, <laughs> to much the kids' delight. Um, a friend of mine that lives quite locally, that's a new friend from my new job, has recommended a walk and that looks really lovely and it's supposed to have a really cute cafe there. Well, I say cafe, I think it's like a hut. So we're hoping to go and find that tomorrow with Crazy Grandad. And that's pretty much it for the weekend because obviously the day's almost over already and it's Saturday. I have got the rest of the week off. I've got annual leave because I should be in Florida right now. Oh, sorry. We should be in Florida right now. It's not all about me, it's about everybody. Yesterday, we should have flown out to Orlando for me to do the Run Disney Marathon. Nobody else seems as bothered as I am. I'm proper gutted that we've missed travel day and that I am not currently in the Orlando heat, enjoying the sunshine, enjoying some pancakes and a well-deserved rest. So yeah, I have got the week booked off work. It has worked out well, I suppose. I didn't have to take the children out of school. Um, but then again, at the moment, did it really matter given everything that's going on in the current climate? So I'm gonna head off to Aldi now. Um, not sure if I'll take you with me. Probably not, unless I see something interesting in that on that middle aisle. Catch you in a bit. Home from the shops now. It's dark already. It's really dark already. The day has just disappeared. It's now 10 past five and I don't know where the day has gone. I suppose when you sleep for most of the day, that's what happens. Just making David ours, myself, a cup of tea and a cup of coffee. I think I am gonna use the last of my Toffee Nut Lattes, the Starbucks one. I meant to check in Tesco's if they still sell it, um, or whether it's just a Christmas range. I don't know, but I'm gonna use the last one. I also wanted to show you guys this. My Sleeping Beauty um, calendar. Does anybody still use traditional calendars like this? I think David thinks they are really old fashioned. I don't even know if he even looks at it. But I'm not an OAP, I just like a traditional calendar. So this is the range I have gone for. And it's got all these on it, which is cute. I can't wait to have a look through it each month. but. I put all my shifts on there. I put childcare on there, not that it's relevant at the minute, but yeah. Davy thinks I am very old fashioned with that. But I think it's a good reference for the children especially, and it's supposed to be for David to look at where the childcare is. Not great with the input it on the iPhone, which is what he thinks I should be doing. We have got the chicken getting prepped for tonight. So obviously I said we're having fried chicken. So this is the chicken. It's now just soaking in buttermilk. It's obviously New Year healthy diet friendly. It's all, it's all sin free. Totally all sin free. Not. So I'm looking, really looking forward to that. I do love this meal, but David hates making it. So we've got some of that. We're gonna have some wedges, we're gonna have some slaw. Yeah, it's all gonna be good. I'm gonna go make my coffee. The messy chef is out and it's not me for once. So this is our breadcrumb mix for the fried chicken. It smells amazing. I think it's just garlic powder, but it's a special blend of herbs and spices. What? That's not the herbs and spices. What is it? There's a bowl next to you full of herbs and spices. Okay. Oh my God, how many herbs and spices? That's ridiculous. This is KFC's secret recipe. Or, oh. whose is it? 
It's the Colonels, yeah. It's not the Colonels, who's is it? Is it James Martin? No. So the coat is back on because I completely forgot. I've got to go and get my COVID vaccine. I totally forgot. I was responding to a comment on YouTube about Disney plans and stuff and saying, gosh, I hope the vaccine works. And I remembered I actually have my vaccine appointment. It's at 20 past six. It's at my work, which is just around the corner. So we're just about to leave. I don't know what to make of it. <sighs> Wish me luck. I'm home. I'm home from having my vaccination. I got it done. Yay. Had my first vaccine. It was really quick and efficient. Um, one way systems. They took you in and out. Loads of social distancing. Everything was cleaned and worked down. Had it done in this arm. So surprised I'm still holding the camera right now. Um, Lots of questions, lots of health questions, whether I'm uh, pregnant, breastfeeding, all those types of things, whether I've had allergic reactions. I've got a big long um, couple of booklets to read about it, why I should have it as a healthcare professional, what it does, is it safe, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Got booked in for my next appointment. Um, my next appointment's not gonna be till April. So quite a few, quite a while away, to be honest, but I get why they're doing it. They want to do, obviously, get everyone done and mass vaccinations and stuff. Kind of feel like it should be done according to the Pfizer, but that's just my opinion. I don't know enough about it to make a proper comment, just hear snippets from other people. So I shouldn't really comment without reading all the facts first. Just Facebook news, I suppose, from all my colleagues and things like that. And yeah, so I don't know. Dry jam is going really well. It's the first one. It's my first one since New Year's Eve, so not bad. It's now the 9th of January, so I, I, I've been off it for a week and I'm not gonna drink every day. I'm not justifying it. I just don't wanna do it. Cheers. David's just about to make the fried chicken. He's just heating up the oil. We're gonna make some very noisy in the background. I heat up the oil, make some wedges. I am hungry now. I said I might, the um, vaccine itself said I might have a few symptoms, obviously an achy arm, a um, bit of a high temperature possibly, That that's quite rare, so it might feel a, a bit unwell, but we'll just watch this space. Um, look, it's hurting already. One thing she did say when she put the vaccine in, I've got really tough skin. I've like got skin like an elephant or something. I was like, all right, cheers. Pardon, but better than a bum like one. Charming. I have, I have had people say that I've got really muscly arms before. So that's obviously what it is. That's it. No bingo wings around here. I am starving now. I really, really, really want my fried chicken until it's ready. Half an hour, which means about an hour. Let's watch this space. I feel like we should have our own theme tune, the Diane Dave cooking show. <laughs> He's not quite impressed with that. So David is just working on the chicken. Sorry to all the vegans out there. Yeah. <laughs> Veganuary does not happen in this house. I think I've tried it for about a couple of days. So the chicken is there, all soaked in buttermilk. It's gonna go into the spices and then the bread comes. I meant to keep a clean hand then. Mm -hmm. You're so OCD about chicken. You've got to touch it again. I know, but I meant to keep one hand clean. Mm. So it goes in the spices and then the bread crumbs? No? Yeah. yeah. That's it. Healthy oil is heating up. <laughs> and then I've got some wedges on the go here. So these are homemade wedges. Just put some oil on them, a bit of pap paprika and some flour just to crisp them up nicely. A bit like roasties. All that on healthy goodness, look at it. 
What is it you said? My legs looking quite healthy. Your legs are looking quite tasty. <laughs> Terrible. Oh yes. So the finished product, we've got some chicken breast nuggets here, got some crispy thighs and drumsticks, some wedges and some waffles to parry. We have some gravy, some slaw mm -hmm. and some beans. Look good? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Cheers. Dinner was absolutely lovely. I am so stuffed now. Just enjoying a glass of wine and watching this ugly lot on uh, the telly. Are you joking? Watching sat Saturday Night Discussions. Loving it. Um, talking about what uh, makes me go, ooh, it's gotta be for me, the monorail. Stepping onto that monorail and listening to the mayor, Buddy Dyer, that gives me the, the chills. And now I'm in Florida when I hear his voice. So I'm gonna go and finish watching this and I'll probably see you tomorrow. Good morning, happy Sunday. It's half past nine, Sunday morning, and we're up and I'm dressed. We'd made plans to meet a crazy granddad at 10 o'clock. That's not gonna happen. We didn't get to bed till late last night. We didn't get to bed till midnight, which is quite late for me. And it's probably not late for everybody, but for me, it's quite late. We went down a Netflix rabbit hole, well, I say rabbit hole, the Netflix um, curse where it just keeps playing the next episode. So we're currently watching make how to how to get away with murder, and we just keep watching them, I'm just, and it just comes on. Oh, just a little bit of the next one, and then we don't go to bed for ages. So 10, 12 o'clock last night for me was quite late, and then I suddenly switched into night mode and couldn't go to bed. So if I don't go to bed straight away when I'm tired after I finish night shifts, sometimes I struggle a little bit because obviously that's my wide awake time when I would be busy working. So. I got to sleep eventually and 20 to 9 I woke up and went oh my gosh we're meeting granddad in about an hour so we're up now the kids are just getting dressed I'm just getting some breakfast I was supposed to be meeting granddad for a nice walk I think it was supposed to be a bit frosty this morning it's now drizzly and grey and dark but we can wear a coat we need to get out and get some fresh air I need to move my legs um, currently not running running at the minute which is killing me really still suffering from injury since the marathon um like you saw maybe if you saw on last week's vlog i went to minor injuries um they said it's not they said it might be a stress fracture it might be shin splints but it's not getting better and it's at times excruciating so i've got a pain sort of around my lower leg just above my ankle and I get shooting pains and a horrible pain halfway up my shin. It's really not nice. I used to be able to run through it and it get better, but this is just not, it's like every step's really painful. So I'm just getting some breakfast. I am getting some, having some sourdough. So I saw on JJ Extra that they had a half a loaf of sourdough bread. And so I found this in Aldi. This is a seeded sourdough bread, which I really fancy. So I've got that, I've got half a loaf of it. The trouble is, it don't fit in the toaster properly. So, this is how we're toasting it. Why not? Really excited about eating that. I've got some peanut butter and a banana. So that is yummy. Had my coffee already this morning. I could probably do with another one, but we are hoping to find a really cute coffee shop on this walk. And um, I'm gonna have another coffee there. So I'm gonna go and eat my breakfast and I will see you on the walk. Catch you a bit. Just come for a walk now. It's a little bit drizzly and dreary, but it's still nice. We've got crazy granddad with us. So is Emily. Emily's come with us. Managed to get her out of the house. Harry has run off into the distance, but it's pretty down here. Some nice houses. Let's see what we can find. Oh, it's very pretty. So this is, where are we? We're at the river, aren't we? This is the River Bolin. This is where we sometimes come in the summer, but further up. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like it when there's gaps.
David, don't forget photo of the day. <laughs> Love it, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> Just... Like I said, this run has been recommended to me by for, from a friend. She didn't say, she said, walk across the potato fields. <laughs> it's just like a quag, quagmire of mud. <sighs> but anyway, not easy to walk on. I'm such a city girl. So we have found it. It's like we got the secret coordinates to a secret rave. We're just following people across the potato field. This place is pretty. Got some parachute canopies. And I think it's gonna be behind there. But this place is cool. Enjoying the coffee underneath the giant parachute. Oh, that'd be cute. Big doggy. How's your hot chocolate? Yeah. Good. I've got hot chocolate, marshmallows, and chocolate bits. I've got a latte. My granddad's got an Americano. It's so cute here, isn't it? Mm -hmm. We've got a barbecue behind us. Oh, that. <laughs> that dog's eating sick. Or eating something weird. Oh no, I think it's milk. Ugh. It's a cute doggy. This place is really cool, isn't it, Harry? Yeah. You've had chocolate nice. This is coffee is so hot and delicious. It's such a cute place. <sighs> Cheers, happy Sunday. She does exist. It's Emily from the back. She, she's come out of her bedroom, hasn't she? I found a matter piece of chocolate. Oh, let's have a look. Oh, wow, that looks chocolatey. So we are still on our walk. We've been in the most strangest places. Maybe I should have filmed it. Part of it was like open fields with power lines overhead. We've been through some really strange housing estates and now we're just going back into the woods again. Uh, we've probably done about three and a half miles so far. Starting to struggle a little bit because my leg is hurting. We've been across ice fields, we've been across muddy patches. My <laughs> crazy granddad. <laughs> not sure if he loves us or not. But yeah, having a lovely time. Harry Anderson, what are you doing? Looking at the pretty water. You've got to get back in my car, you know. Yeah. Smells yeah. a bit of sewage, Harry. Yeah, it does. Get your coat filthy and all. Mm hmm. back from the walk I can't even warm up yet I've still got my coat on I don't want to take it off kettle's on to make a brew and we're having pancakes for lunch because the kids asked for pancakes so why not Steamy. Ooh. might be sure of Tuesday but why not see if you're gonna flip it oh look at that when is it Tuesday how's your pancake Good. What topping did you choose? Nutella. Nutella. So what do you prefer on your pancakes? Nutella, some syrup, or good old lemon and sugar? Nutella. Yeah. 
So this is currently our living room and dining room right now. Apologies for the noise, it is this. We are having a go with Mario Kart. <laughs> there you go, you can see the rest of the dining room. So it's Emily's go and she's off. Don't get stuck on the rough, rough bit of carpet. Crash. Oh. So David won the, second, the first round, mm. Harry second. Ah, how's it going? Oh, no, it's not. Oh. <laughs> I came third and Emily came last. It's really hard to control. The boys are obviously more used to these things than we are. Sorry about the steam and the dark and the light and everything else going on. We're just cooking our Sunday dinner. Harry's like, we're having Christmas dinner again. I said, no, we're having, not having turkey, we're having chicken. He's like, well, have, all the rest of the food's the same. I like, yeah. So we're having a chicken roast dinner with the usual, all the trimmings, peas, carrots, roasts, mash. You've got to have two types of potato. Um, we've got some Yorkshire puddings, we've got some sausages, we've got some stuffing, everything basically. And I've even got some cranberry sauce left over from Christmas. <sighs> Hello, Bruce. Bruce the shark, apologies. So yeah, that's what's going on right now. I can't wait, I am so hungry now. Just had my breakfast. I'm gonna get ready now to go out on a bike ride before the weather turns even worse than it is. Now I'm part of a few running groups on Facebook and on Instagram. On Instagram I have um, two accounts, which is really hard to keep up with. I've just recently changed my name on my other Instagram account to Midwife That Runs, because my account is mainly about running. Obviously I've got my UK Disney vlog Instagram and now this one. Um, so on Facebook and Instagram, I'm part of a group of mums. <laughs> it's called Badass. It's called like mums, mum that runs, like badass mums that were really great. <laughs> my, my family are taking the mick because it's basically a bunch of middle-aged women that think they're amazing because they run, which we are, and why not? But a part of their um, group, they have merchandise, of course. Um, so I purchased a peach piece of merchandise. Now, nobody in this house likes it except me. And we just need to take a minute to appreciate how amazing these are. So I got these the other day in this amazing packaging. It comes like this. It included a pin badge as well. And yeah, they're so well packaged. They are amazing. Let me just get them out. But look at that print. How amazing is that? It's nothing like I would ever, ever wear, but it's fantastic. And it's got badass written on it. Now, I absolutely love these. Like I said, they're nothing I would ever wear. My running drawer, yes, I have a full drawer of running stuff, is just full of blacks and greys. But this, I just had to do it. I had to do something a little bit different, a little bit quirky. And I can't wait to wear them.